experience the magnificent surf coast of beautiful Sawai'i. Today, we'll be touring the Sunset Coast or the most western point of Samoa. I am Nive Gidlo of the Sawai'i Samoa Tourism Association and this is Tafaonga, experience our beautiful Samoa. And to help us with our adventure today is our guest tour guide, Mr. Tawa Fainu Famatala of Sawai'i Tours Company. Malo soifua tawa. Langi ma malo soifua. Talo fa nive. You look beautiful nive this morning. Thank you. It must be my evening dress. Oh, really, Lula? Hey. Talo fa Samoa. Now, before we start, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and the Savai Tours Company? Okay. Um, my name is uh, Fai Nu, and I've been working in the tourism industry for more than 20 years, and this is my passion to be in the tourism uh, uh, industry and I just started this small business last year, the end of last year and I'm a managing director of uh, Savai Tours uh, Samoa and today we're going to start uh, behind us, this is Canopy, Falealupo Canopy Walkway, this is where we're going to start. We're going to go down to uh, Falealupo Sea, the Falealupo Hapa, um, Moses Footprints, uh, Tufuta Foy Hapa then we move on to uh, Asau Old Airport, see the hapa at uh, Asau uh, Laawoleola Cave, and then we'll finish off uh, at uh, Mount Silisili. Wow, that the sounds Silicili. like a very exciting itinerary. Shall we start? Okay, let's, let's go. go. Well, Nive, if you're afraid of height, yes, I am. Don't look down. Uh, just look straight. Are you ready? No. No. So let's just do it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's try. Malo lava, wow, no, that was quite an exhilarating experience. Look at this Very beautiful, beautiful yeah. site. We are about uh, 30 meters above the ground now. Wow. Have a look at the beautiful coast down there. And we are on this big banyan tree. The other interesting thing here is if you're interested in uh, bird watching, this is a, mm. a very perfect place to spot to watch the because you will see a lot of different uh, our native birds such mm -hmm. as uh, Manumea, Manutangi and you will also see, sometimes you'll see flying foxes uh, here. Uh. Can you tell us a bit about the history and the background of this attraction? Okay, um, you know we have a lot of uh, 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 native rainforest around here in the, this district yes. and back in the, in the 80s and 90s we have a lot of uh, this uh, sawmills company. They were very interesting in our rainforest. Mm. And what happened? They cut down a lot of uh, our, our native uh, rainforest just for for the money. Very cheap. Uh, mm. very, and that, that was so sad. And the good thing about Falea Lupo, that's why they say this place, this uh, rainforest. Well, I remember Paul Cox. This guy is from uh, Sweden. Uh, he was uh, looking for a project, trying to build this. Uh, uh, walkway where we are now and they built back in uh, uh, 90, 1993 1994 and the idea so instead of cutting down the trees they people can pay money to come and mm. see have a look at the trees and, and our native trees uh, so that's why you see a lot of native uh, trees around us like Tava you see Tava right there Kufaso mm. uh, a lot of these trees they uh, around here but other villages you won't see a lot of these native trees Good timber wood around here. Very good timber.
thrilling climb at the canopy walk where we headed on to another historic attraction site just down the road called the Mosos Footprints or commonly known in Samoan as Levai or Mosos. This notable church structure is what remains of the historic Falealupo Catholic Church which was destroyed by the devastating hurricane offer in 1990. We ended our tour of Falealupo with visiting another well-known site, the House of Rocks or the historic place where the famous Samoan saying originates from. <laughs> Quite a bit of our Samoan history that originated mm. from here in Tufu Tafue. Mm. Would you further elaborate on that? Yes, uh, Nive, we are here at uh, the most western point mm. on the earth. Well, it used to be, you know, the last millennium, there were a lot of people from all over the world they were here to celebrate the last sunset because mm. we used to to be the last people to see the last sunset of the last millennium. Ah, right. Not anymore, but uh, I'm so proud of it. I, I was here at that time and it was... Very historic. Yeah, very historic. I still remember that. And uh, another thing that we we have out there is uh, uh, what we call uh, Olfafao mm. Uh We have a lot of legends and as I said earlier, these were most uh, historical sites of Samos, uh, such as uh, uh, well, we already see the House of Rock, Oleanga Wa Tausili, Ole Fafasa Wali'i, Luwaloto Wali'i, and all that, all those legends. We are at Tofutafoe, Samoa's most western point. It prides itself as the last place to have seen the sunset of the last millennium. If you are a sunset chaser, this is the acclaimed place to be at the end of the day. It provides mesmerizing, stress-free moments, capturing the charismatic, vibrant colors of the sun as it turns gold right before your eyes. Today, I ate our. Yes, you know what would be nice? Yeah. yeah. 
some ice That's cream and a chocolate bar. Oh, Nivi, it reminds me about this place, uh, uh, Savai Koko. Oh. Uh, they, uh, Is it a shop? It's not a it's not a shop. It's a place where they process the our uh, cocoa beans, mm. and then they, they 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 sell them or they export them to the the Whitaker uh, uh, chocolate factory. Ah, right. I've heard popular. of this. Yes, yeah. there are quite a lot of our tourists that they they want to see this place, uh, and I think this is a good chance to go and have a look yes, at it. Yes, please. Ah. Yes. All right. Well, Nivi, we got some fresh ripe mm. cocoa pots from the farm. Ah, cocoa is a seasonal uh, tree, so this is we are coming to the end of our uh, season, so that we don't see a lot of cocoa around, but we have this ripe one. Let's open up one, and then we'll have a look. This is the first step. Wow, you look like you've been doing this for years. Yes. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. Ah, fresh beans. So deseeding, we have to deseed all the, you know, all, all the spots. Uh, we ferment the cocoa for uh, for five nights, and we mm. do everything according to what the Whitakers want. Ah. Mm. So fermentation is uh, uh, is a process where we we bring the, the the fresh wet beans and we put them inside those boxes, mm. and then we cover them with banana leaves. Banana leaves is also helps the flavor to okay. bring out the flavors. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is how we dry the cocoa. Ah, mm. We use this drying shelters because sometimes it rains. Yeah. But we have shelters. Ah. And our final process or final step, Nive, we're gonna take all the dry beans where we do the what do you call the QC quality control, where okay. we do the sorting before we're gonna store them in the storage room. Okay, ah. that's the final process. That, that's the final process. <laughs> Is there much going on at the airport at the moment? No, not much because there are no uh, commercial flights, just mm. uh, open for emergency flights and uh, charters. from New Zealand. Mm. They done a research here and after the research they said that uh, this cave is ranked 20, 27th in the world. Wow. Which means that it's one of the biggest cave, you know, and uh, it's the biggest cave in Samoa. It's about uh, more than 5,000 meters uh, long and mm. it's about 140, more than 140 meters deep. So it's quite a big cave. Mm. Uh, well, the other, another interesting thing about this cave is not only the cave, but the walk. As we walk, uh, you know, you see all the native trees, the birds, and all that. And you hear a lot of uh, bear, bear, ah, swiftlets inside this cave, nesting inside this cave. So let's go and have a look. Uh. Sure, why not? Okay. So what do we expect to find in this little cave, Sal? Well, get ready to get dirty. <laughs> 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 as you're expecting most of the cave. 
But the most in interesting thing you will see uh, a lot of, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Swiftlets, uh, pair, pair. A lot of, you know, next to the side here. What's the nature of these bats? Uh, well, they, they, they don't, they, they always hide inside these dark caves. Mm -hmm. uh, they always uh, nest inside. Mm -hmm. uh, What I want you to, to know, this is one of the intersections of, uh, of, of, of this cave. As I said, it's the biggest cave in, in Sabai and in Samoa. So you can easily get lost if you don't know the place. So you have to, to, to bring the you know, a tour guide with right tools. Uh, and otherwise, tour and guide. Yes. <laughs> and otherwise you will get lost. You can easily get lost, you see? So you, you need to... I'm glad that you have those shoes and, yep, lights and all that. Ah. ก็เกมดูฝนมาฝนฝนอีฝนมันเหวี่ยงเยอะสิเบซาเลยบางทีหนูอ่าเบอซีเราพี่เรียกช่วยเขาก็บุบบุบวันนี้เป็นอะไร
Sicily hike was both a physical and emotional challenge. The eagerness, concentration and willpower required to execute this type of exploring were magnified a hundredfold. It was an experience of a lifetime and it would not have been possible without the immense commitment and direction of the highly experienced Aopo village tour guides. We came to the first lookout where we could finally get a glimpse of how far we've come and we could also see our south area and the sunset coast of Savai. At this point we've just gone past the 5 hour mark since we began the hike and we've been told by one of our dynamic local guides that we have approximately one more hour left to go. We were fortunate enough to pick and eat some wild berries along the way which made up for a good level of energy needed to finish the adventure. Finally, we've reached the campsite with heartfelt gratification and visibly our tents have already been pitched and arranged for our night stay by our generous village guides. The campsite was obviously strategically selected for its reasonably flat capacious area as well as mountains on most sides shielding the campus from the winds. The unbelievable feeling of making it all the way and physically being here is just profound. The air here is amazingly cool and surely compensates for all the wounds and pain endured during the hike. Truly amazing. Cheers. Cheers. We've done it. As our village guides continue to set up our tent accommodation for the night, we were made to watch some great Aopo sportsmanship through a game of volleyball, which helped keep our hike assistants warm. Later that evening, Junior Tassi of Vanu Studios put on a fire knife dancing show for us and performed the very first fire knife dancing on Mount Silsili.
elevated almost two kilometers above sea level, this might probably be the highest Sivafi ever performed anywhere in the world. Beautiful morning, huh? Beautiful yes, sunshine. Yes. How was your night last night? It was nice. You it had was, that beautiful smile. It was smiles. very you, cold. Iole, yeah. Iole, Eo, Antarctica. For inga le lunga i. Me fenga wa lenga fenga upa fenga. I look at you. I go to a boys' area. Go. Or in Makua, Malo, Lucy. Very experienced, huh? Well, last night we had a beautiful dinner, mm. beautiful entertainment, and these guys they had a bonfire, everything. We have a lovely night last night. Our boys, what are you ready? Yeah, ready. Ready. Take it, go. Take it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, we are ready to climb. This is our last, uh, our last break. We've been walking for about an hour, more than an hour. We're taking our breath and if it's a lava like it, it's a lava. Take a breather. Yeah, I'm a tunnel. Yeah. 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 Necessary. I'm a full. We're a cassie. I'm a fast. Yeah, I'm a full. I'm a full. Yeah. This is the final, final, final climb. Final climb up to the peak. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. and thrilling experience it has been so far. We have just returned from the summit of Mount Sirisili, the oh, highest sexy. point of Samoa. Faftai Teletawa for taking us on the journey of Sunset You're Coast. Welcome, Nive. Until next week, I am Nive Gitlow and this is Tafaonga. Experience our beautiful Samoa. Tofa Soifua. Oh.